Are you listening? Excuse me, guys. I'm still hung the hell over from Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, where I knew this these games would end up being the way that it turned out to be. But I did not know that the Cleveland Browns would win their first game. I did not know that Derek Carr was going to break his leg. I didn't even know that Marcus Mariola was going to break his leg. Hell, I didn't even know that the Texans could beat the Bengals. And they did. I didn't even think that the Redskins would beat the Bears, but they did. I didn't even think that the Patriots would take all those points, and I gave half of it to the Jets, and boy, I was wrong. Oh, that just gave me a headache just for that. So week 16 ended up horrifically horrible for me, and hopefully week 17 will not be like it was Christmas weekend. New Year's weekend, I see something better. But we'll see. I'm TJ Harmon. Welcome to week 17 of my NFL weekly picks for the 2016-2017 NFL season. Straight up, I went 6-9. and nine. Could end up being 6-10, and 7-9 at the end of tonight. Against the spread, terrible. 5-10. Possibly could be 6-10 and 10 or 5-11 and 11 at the end of the night. With one game to go, Detroit Lions facing the Dallas Cowboys. And if it means anything, the Cowboys got everything. But will they continue to have the starters in? We don't know. But I'm going with the Cowboys to win and the Lions to cover those points. So with that, let me take my time and pick my four against the spreads. For our New Year's Day. The first game we're going to look at. Is the Houston Texans traveling to Tennessee. To face the Titans. As you know. The Titans are out of the playoffs. Also. The Titans suffer a huge loss. As Marcus Mariota. Fractured his fibula. Matt Castles will be the quarterback. For this game. If it means anything. It's not going to happen for Tennessee in this game because the Houston Texans, who won three straight games and has taken the AFC South as they beat the Bengals by two points, are favorite in this game. But they turn out to be the underdogs. They're the best team, I should say, so I'm going to stick with that. Plus three, Houston, give those points to them. The second game we're going to look at is the Arizona Cardinals traveling to L.A. to face the Rams. Who would ever thought the Arizona Cardinals would take down the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle? The only team to be undefeated at home. Ah, ah, Not no more. David Johnson Larry Fitzgerald and Carson Palmer put a foot in the Seahawks' ass in that game. Who would ever thought David Johnson, sleeping, you guys, is the best running back in all the NFL. Forget Ezekiel Elliott. He's a rookie. But you look at David Johnson as the best man and could possibly have the run title by the end of next week. Now, with that said, Cardinals winning by three points as Seattle did make a comeback but failed. I had Seattle winning and taking the points, but in turn, Arizona won and took those points, covered those points. Meanwhile, the LA Rams, who did not do anything, any justice for me, remember in week one, the 49ers Shut them out in San Francisco 28 to nothing. Going to week 16, the Rams were favored to win. 
for the new head coach, Jeff Fossil. And they were leading for two, three quarters. And the 49ers scored 15, counted, 15 unanswered points, including a fake to end the Rams' hopes at getting this second win of the season. Third win of the season, excuse me. Second win, I guess. I right, look. Second win of the season. Third win. I'm so tired of I don't know what to think. So, I just don't know what to think about this game, but <laughs> give those points to the Cardinals at minus six in LA. The third game we're going to look at is the Indianapolis Colts at home facing the Jacksonville Jaguars. It don't mean anything, even if the Colts lose to... I forget who the Colts lost to. But anyway, the Colts, who lost on Christmas Eve, unfortunately, didn't do anybody justice as they are out of the playoffs themselves. It's shocking to see that because the Miami Dolphins were the team to put them out. So, but meanwhile, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who would ever thought that Blake Boyles would have a game like he did and beat the Tennessee Titans? And now they're traveling to Indianapolis as the underdog. I don't think they're going to get their second straight win because the Colts are going to put a pounding on them. As, of course, the Colts lost to the Raiders, by the way. It's not going to happen, but give those points to the Colts, minus six. And my final game we're going to look at, it's the Oakland Raiders traveling to Denver to face the Broncos. Of course, you guys know the Broncos, who played horrible last night, and are probably going to be a horrible team in this game. Unbelievable. They're playing at home. Are eliminated from the playoffs. Tough, because Kansas City, I had winning. But at least I had the Broncos to cover like they did in Denver. Excuse me, in Kansas City. But it didn't happen. Denver, like I said, champions last year, going home this year. Now, with that said, Oakland, Derek Carr broke his leg. He's out. Matt McGloin is in. What kind of confidence do I have in this guy? Not too much because I really know not much about him. But he does have a good running back. He has good corners. But we're talking offensively. Good running back. Good wide receivers. Oakland is the better team. Denver right now pretty much has given up on this head coach of Gary Kubiak. But it wouldn't surprise me if they win this game. And this is a pick em. So if I had to pick this game, I'm going with Oakland. They're the better team. Denver, if you want to say right now, they need another quarterback. Because Trevor Simeon may not be the one. So... With this being the pick'em, I'm going to tell you to pick the Raiders in this game. And that's some of my picks, and here are the rest of my straight-up picks for New Year's Day. And 
and that will wrap it up with this early edition of my week 17 picks for the 2016-2017 NFL season. I'm TJ Harmon here on YouTube, overrated underscore round on Twitter. If you like the video, please click and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Any comments on what you think the outcome of the games of week 17 will be, or your comments on what you thought about week 16, uh, post it right down below. Also, I want to give shouts to my YouTube prosecutors. I hope you guys' holiday was great, even though our week was not for some and cool for others. Let's hope that week 17 will take that distasteful taste out of our mouths now and give us that nice tasting eggnog or whatever you're going to have for New Year's right back in your system. So, shouts to you guys and happy New Year's to all of you. If you want to follow us on our Facebook page, you can type in facebook.com forward slash YouTube prognosticators. The link is down below. Thanks again for watching. Get this taste out of my mouth because it's so nasty. Ugh, week 16 is nearly done. Week 17 is approaching. Pick your picks wisely. We'll see you next week and hopefully week 17 will be much better than last week. Thanks again for watching and Happy New Year's everybody. Until next week.